Good morning muffins and thank you for joining back at my channel. Today I have my daughter with me, Jackie. You guys love when I do videos with my daughter so um, we're doing a get ready with me video and we're using some of the products that we're using are going to be brand new. So we're using them for the first time and we will give you our thoughts and most of the pro some are also the products we've used them before and we'll still give you our thoughts about them. So we're going to do a get ready and our eyebrows are already done. We've already moisturized and primed. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, so I'm just going to roll so... with it. <laughs> We're just going to roll with it. The Julius um, palette. But I'm going to use this one for the first time, too. Okay, so I'm going to put a primer on it, and I'm using BH Cosmetics this Primer. See, si. this color here on my eye to start out. I always, I don't know, whenever I use this palette, that's always what I start out with because... The transition? Color. Yeah. Yeah. With Madagascar. Um, I'm gonna go between the Love Sick, the Dark Matter, and what is the other one called? I'm just placing this Madagascar all over my eyelid. Getting it in my crease. I'm gonna just build this color up with my outer V. And the remainder of it, I'm going to um, bring it in further. Why do I feel like we're about to do the same exact look? <laughs> I'm not really tall, guys. I'm only 5'5". Five five. And I'm 5'1", so I'm short. <laughs> I'm very, very short. I got my height she from She legally mommy. just made it to sit into a car without a master <laughs> Switching. Code switching is just like um, the way I talk to you, I wouldn't talk to my boss. Okay. So it's just a code switch, basically. Um, but um, I like the hospital in general. It's nice. Um, again, like not dealing with the rowdy patients is still a plus because I don't have to be so aggressive all the time or be so agitated and angry all the time when I'm mm -hmm. dealing with them. Even when I'm not angry. I'm going to tell her to dip her brush into my palette. Because I was going to use that color. Now I have to switch it up. Um, school's good. School's good. I'm just looking for a, um, a college to go to afterwards. I'm looking to actually go away again. Just not to a private college. Where they take all your money. Oh, no, this is too heavy. I need a fluffier You brush. guys, I told you we were going to end up doing the same eye, and that's exactly what's happening. Like, we are doing the same freaking eye. She just put Cairo on. Sorry, like Cairo. Cairo. So you guys can hear me. But she's killing me right now. <laughs> oh, Lord, y'all didn't know. She's so disrespectful. I chose my palette before we got on camera, Okay. But that's a pretty color. I like that color. Come on. Look, isn't it pretty? This is turning to who who's gonna do it better. That's what this is turning into. And I'm going to lose. <laughs> All the way up until you graduate? Um, I so basically what it is guys, I do clinicals, you working in a hospital for free, forty hours a week basically. Well that's why I just finished forty hours a week for the summer. Um but I will be working in the hospital until I graduate and after I graduate. Because after I graduate, you get your degree and everything, but then they're prepping you to take a national exam. Mom, you're cutting out of the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. They're prepping you to take a national exam. So I have to uh, do summer again. What? Summer, like a summer course again after I graduate. Mm. And then... Um, it's like class all over again. They're cramming two years of information. It's actually four years worth of information into two years. And then they're cramming it into you again in mm. one semester mm. so that you could take the state exam. Mm. But with that, you have to, in that seminar class, you have to get a, um, a 75 or above before they even let you leave to take the registry. Mm. So you have to pass that class or they're not going to let you take the registry. So, yeah. It's what what month do you graduate in? Um, it's June. Oh. Next semester. 
because we're in the fall semester now, so. It went by fast. I remember in the beginning you was having such a hard time. Guys, I and was then you crying. just yeah, she, you, you were. I was crying. I was so stressed out. It's different when you're going from being the best in school to something challenging, challenging you so hard. Like it, it was a challenge, and it was just like I felt like I wasn't smart enough, and I wasn't, I wasn't getting it, and I couldn't understand what the heck was going on. So. I was starting to feel really discouraged on my eye. Let me show you guys what that looks like. We're just going to wing it. I'm, I'm literally winging this whole thing. And my mom just wanted to copy me. I'm going to try this color right here. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but let's, let's see. Yeah, so all I added was the black, yeah. Okay. Have some prime. In peach luster. Okay, so I'm actually gonna take a little bit of Ada and put some back because I feel like I lost a lot of it um, with the Casablanca. So, yeah. I'm just dusting it lightly. I'm not even trying to blend it out, just dusting over it. I like that look. It's nice and simple. Oh, that's a nice match color. See, because if I would have used it by itself, this would have been too yellow. And then, I've used this by itself. I like it by itself, though. This gives me a really nice, even color since I'm darker. And I don't know if I want to do eyeliner. I think that's the dilemma. But I'm not going to do it. I think, I, yeah, I'm not going to do any eyeliner. Because... It'll get messy. And I'm not, I have not perfected. I do a nice wing eyeliner, guys. Yeah, I can't do Bomb wing eyeliner. eyeliner. I can't do it. It will cut your throat. Bomb. But I have to be focused. I'm not really focused. I honestly don't need this with my um, foundation, honestly. Which one? With the MAC foundation I'm about to use. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I need this, but we'll see. Ever since I started using that foundation, I don't use mm -hmm. color correcting. Really? Is yeah. that good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we will see, guys, won't we? When you color correct, you use Ooh, a, girl. a blending bowl. That is dark. <laughs> what? No, actually, it's not. No? No. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with my, be my booty blender. Ew, Mom. And it is sucking wet. I hate to use this one because it's going to get... I know, that's... <laughs> I picked up this one because I didn't want to use the white one. I don't know why. Okay, so this is Elf Beauty Sponge. That's Elf? Yes. No freaking way. Wait, wait, no, no, no. It's not Elf. It's Ulta. I'm sorry. Oh, I W55 and it is my perfect color. It looks kind of light in the jar though. But I feel like all their foundations actually look lighter in the jar. Mm -hmm. Should I be petty and show? Okay, I was going to show you the foundation I was using before with NARS, but um, yeah. you can see. Let's see. Yeah. So. My mom actually bought this one first. Yeah. Let's just leave that unsaid that my mom bought me this first. Can, can you guys see that? Yeah, we'll leave that alone. And then she found um, this one. This is Dark 2 by NARS. This actually does work for me. Um, It worked for me. But it's actually pretty similar. This is probably like two shades darker. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is probably like two days darker, but this foundation is faithful though. You this know. is new. I like that package though. I like, I like the way that looks. And that's a travel size one. The original, the full size one costs $40. You don't need the full size. Everywhere? She just put a little bit on it and then just rub the edges. Everywhere? Massage it into her skin.
we're making my hair. Okay, so what I do first is I use my um, MAC concealer and I put that in it. And I like to use NW45 because it actually is a corrector color for me. It has a really nice um, orange undertone. Ouch, I just... Okay, so highlight I'm going to use my Tarte concealer in deep and it's not deep. I'm going to use that to highlight with... What did you say, Jack? <laughs> that is, it's not deep at all. No, I, I, I don't know where you guys are it. getting these phrases from, but you guys are kind of annoying. The only thing I, I actually like that. No, yes, girl. Did you rub it in? Or you yes, I like this. Wait, you I like this. Yes, I did. Skin? I rubbed it in. Like, I, ooh, my foundation. Cool. Mom, what was that? Um, concealer as a highlight. Like, I don't understand how they go from, like, this color to... You see how deep this freaking color is? Like, this is... Yeah, that looks like me. Yeah, I'm like, what the crap? But I really don't care for Tarte because it just... I feel like everything about it is dry. Mm. Guys, do you see how beautiful that foundation is? Yes, girl. Oh, girl! And as you can see, I blend a lot so that there is like literally nothing coming out. Well, of course it's something, but it's not as much as my mom's coming out on the on the beauty blender. And you have to blend your hairline, ladies, please. I use Espresso in Pro Concealer to go under my eye. But I don't... It's just... Oh, okay. I don't apply it straight. I always put everything on my hand first. And sometimes the oil of this comes out first. And I don't want to put that on my face. You see, it works for me. Would this work for you? This would be a contour for you. Okay. This is espresso. Now we use it under my eyes. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. It's because she wants to be dark. Need that melatonin, girl. I'm gonna take my Sedona Lace 376 brush and my Mac Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. I'm gonna set the outer perimeter of my face. I also use it to knock off that extra setting powder. I'm shocked that you got your hands on that so fast. What? That RM, um, RC Elf kit, the cool bronze one. And I'm going to use this darker color to contour with. You do not like, um, they didn't hear what palette you're using. Oh, you just got it on. The Makeup Geek <laughs> eyeshadow, I mean, highlight palette collaboration with Caitlyn Lights. Cat Bunny. I don't like that palette because I feel like all of them have an undertone of like once you apply it to the skin it for me it, it just it doesn't work for my skin mm -hmm. it has this like silver like yeah like I can still see it in yours mm -hmm. it has like this silver tint on all of them which I don't like I, mm -hmm. I don't appreciate that at all and trust me it's about to get crazy and I highlight I start with this Milani um underneath and i apply my highlight before i apply my blush look at that glow look at that jacket which one do i use look at that look at that glow beach you heard i said it right? this is very strong so be careful i'm telling you guys to be careful not me be careful this never too much glow Okay, I'm gonna spray. Mm, it misses out kind of hard. Yeah, it does. I feel like somebody just spit on me. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like someone was spitting on you, honestly. Mm -hmm. I love the way you smell. Yeah, I have a thing with things that smell good. Okay, so I um, 
it's still Milani, but it's just a peachier color that I put over this. Yeah. That's enough highlight for me, honestly. Shockingly. But I need to bring it up. I've learned not to just rest your highlight here. That you have to... Girl, you are glowing. Of course, why not? There's no... Like, I am the sunlight, mom. This this brings the light to your life. Okay. I like that actually. Oh, that is pretty. The lips go perfectly with the eyes. It was nicer to me. It didn't really spit out. <laughs> Okay, so because the one I want to use is all the way over there. Nice. Hey guys. So uh, the camera keeps cutting off. <laughs> but off camera, I um, used MAC Chestnut to line my lips. And then I went in with... Uh, what is this? The Goddess of the Night. Is that is that what it's called? I guess Goddess of the Night. Um, and then I went over that with my mom's favorite. I don't know the name of this. Um, trendy. Or oh, natural. Okay. Natural trendy. But that wasn't enough for me and I applied it in the middle so then I went over it with this um, NYX Gloss Butter in Eclair. And I did my lips. And I um, actually used her um, in Enigma. The stuff that she used on her eyes for my um, blush. And um, I just took a picture, but let's do it again. Ready, Mom? Okay, are you going to take a picture? Or not? To see if we're going to get any flashback. And no, we yeah. have no flashback. That was mean as hell. Yeah, I, I look horrible, but that's my point. The point is that it, does, it doesn't give any flashback. Um, that highlighting powder... Is it highlighting powder? Translucent oh, setting. setting powder? Um, for me, it set very well. Honestly, um, this is how I look. So, I think like for me with the powder, I probably need to put a little bit more hydration on my face before I let that soak in because it, I don't know, I just feel like it just caked up just right here. Yeah, it, it actually did guys. It did um, yeah. cake up underneath her eye. But for me, I felt like I felt it sucking the moisture out. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why uh, one of the other girls said if you have dry skin, it's a little bit shaky because it depends on your skin. But it worked for me. Yeah. And as far as the foundation, I don't know. I'm going to try them separately because together, these two foundations are breaking down really, really bad. Like, you can see here it's breaking yeah. down. Like, it's breaking down all around my mouth. And if it's going to break down all around my mouth, I know it's going to do the same thing with my forehead. So I'm not going to give my opinion on this yet. I'm going to use them separately. But everything else, I really did like a lot, though. I still do feel like you still do, uh, with this powder, you still do get that harsh line. Which is annoying because I don't like harsh lines. So I still see it. And you guys watch me blend like crazy my face. So I don't like that. Um... Yeah, and I was telling you guys that I don't like that uh, highlight that she uses. It just doesn't work for my skin tone. I didn't put any... Oh, I put a little blue. I don't know if you guys could see it. Probably not. We'll probably take some pictures. But I did put a little blue under... Um, in my waterline. Just to do something a little different. Because my mom wanted to be like me so bad. So bad, guys. But... Okay, let me take this... Um, this is so ratchet, but this is like a thing from my yoga mat when I was doing yoga. Um, goodness, we look so much alike. I know it's it's actually annoying. That DNA girl, that DNA. It's it's literally disgusting. It's like my mom is living two lives right now. <laughs> but yes, I'm giving you goddess looks. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we have a lot. Me and Jackie have a nice time when we do videos together. I appreciate the time that I do have with her because she's always on the go. Um, so annoying. <laughs> um, but will we? We'll be back. We're gonna do another video. I don't know what we're gonna do. Now. Um, the next one will be about my hair. 
So I'm gonna take these suckers out. These are really overdue coming out. It's just I cut them and then I fell in love with them again. But we'll do one with my hair because um, this hairstyle did not work at all. It pulled out my edges. So yeah, we're gonna reveal that together. Alright Muffins, so thank you for joining us back at our channel and we will talk to you guys later. Bye Muffins.